Hey guys, and welcome to Pickleball Pirate. It's 7 in the morning. I'm on my way to the courts in Winter Garden, Florida. And I'm giving Tom a lesson. Now, I've never met Tom, but he's a 3.5 player. And he wants to become a 4-0 extremely quickly. He's playing in Vegas in a couple weeks in the big tournament there. And he's playing as a 3.5. And um, I'm making a segment called Path to 4-0. I'm going to have a bunch of tips, a bunch of drills, a bunch of techniques, and I hope you guys enjoy, and have a great week. Hey guys, and welcome to Pickleball Pirate. It's a beautiful morning. I just got out here, and I just met Tom. He seems like an incredible guy. And this routine, guys, it's great if you just got direct play, and you want to warm up for 5-10 minutes. And I do it all the time. It really helps. It'll eliminate that first bad game you guys have. <laughs> so basically, we started out dinking head to head. Now, I'm on the backhand side dinking, and I'm dinking to him diagonally. After a couple of minutes, we're going to switch, and I'll be on the forehand side dinking diagonally to his forehand. And I'm really excited to work with Tom and I'm really excited about this path to 4-0 segment and I want to make it clear that um, if you guys want to go to 5-0 you need Tony Giannani, <laughs> Henry Winato, uh, Patricio Perea, the awesome instructors at Clear One but I understand technique extremely well and it's in pickleball it's so important to learn the right to need technique because you might be able to get to a 3.5 to a 4 with bad technique, but you won't be able to get to a 4.5 or 5. So, my job with Tom is to teach him the perfect technique on the dink, on the backhand drive, on the forehand drive, on the backhand roll, on the forehand roll, and that's my job. Right here, I'm explaining to him move side to side do not move back hold the line and guys i'm guilty of this a lot of the time too and this is move right here this is so important but um don't take a lot of small steps you No, know, sometimes it seems counterintuitive but if you watch the really good players they're not moving a whole lot at all and i'm explaining to tom that you're gonna save energy but by doing this if you're in a tournament playing three or four matches you're gonna get tired if you're moving too much period and I'm working with him on footwork yeah that was beautiful and I'm trying to get you guys some really good camera angles so and yeah here let's switch and we're go, still going backhand to backhand. And at first, Tom was stepping with the wrong foot a lot of the time. But now he's starting to get it. And hitting the ball out in front, guys, is so important. Not bringing your racket back too far. And Tom is tall. He's probably 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 he has long arms. So... He could hit the ball really far out in the kitchen, and that takes away the person's time. If you can take away your opponent's time in pickleball, you're going to win more points, you're going to win more games. And this is what I'm saying. I want to work with him on the roll, the forehand and backhand roll, and that's going to be my next segment, guys. And here's another angle for you. Now we're going forehand to forehand. And I'm telling him, basically, if he can take the ball out of the air when he's dinking, to do it. And I told him to practice that in rec play, because that's how you become a better player. That's how you're going to beat the 4.5 players. And in our next segment, we're going to work on the backhand roll, forehand roll, and um, backhand drive, forehand drive. So I'm really excited. Tom really picks stuff up really quick and just an incredible guy so thanks again Tom for letting me tape you and we have a ton more segments coming your way 
and hey thanks so much for subscribing guys and um i really do appreciate it i love this game as much as you do i promise have a great day guys and um have a good monday <laughs>